Hi guys, it's me June again and welcome to another video for today and I hope you're all having a great day. So anyways, in today's video, it's pretty obvious in the title that I will be sharing information about the requirements needed in applying for a tourist visa for Australia. But before we start, I just want to make this clear that I am not a pro regarding this matter and that what I will be sharing today is based on my experience. These documents and the time frame that I will be sharing might not be enough or too much for you when you apply for a tourist visa for Australia. Also, this won't guarantee your visa approval because there are some aspects that each one of us is different like work history, income, assets, savings, travel history, your partner's background or your sponsor's background, bank statement, and the like. But one thing I know that these documents really helped me to be here in Australia and that's why I am here in Australia now with the help also of this agent. So let's start now with the requirements needed for applying for a tourist visa. So in my case, I had to provide them with a couple of requirements um, or a couple of documents uh, for the application of my tourist visa to Australia. So. If you want to go to another country or if you want to travel internationally, first and foremost, you need to have your passport ready. So they will be asking your passport bio page. And then after that, um, passport stamps, or that's the arrival and departure stamps. If for example, you have traveled to another country already. So passport stamps, are also a proof or a plus in application for a tourist visa because this will mean that you're a genuine tourist that you go there and come back to your country on time so that's a plus with your requirements for an application of a visa next is um certified birth certificate so in the philippines we call it nso birth certificate and next, they also asked me for two government ID or two valid ID. For example, um, humid ID, postal ID, driver's license, voter's ID. So for example, if um, you don't have these IDs yet, you might want to ask, um, your agent what are the possible documents that you can give instead of those ID so next we have NBI clearance so NBI clearance is like a clearance that would uh, prove that you don't have a criminal record and you don't have any issue in your country and that you are free to fly to another country Next on the list, you have the bank statement. So bank statement is really important also in your case, or in my case, since um, they will also um, think that uh, you have to um, be able to support yourself when you are in the other country. I mean, you've got a sponsor, but what if um, that sponsor and you will fight or will have an argument and he won't be um, supporting you during your stay so at least you have the money to provide food and accommodation for you and then next i was also asked to give my itr that's um, income tax return for the last three years i'm not so sure um, why or how would they use it but yes i provided my ITR income tax return for the last three years Next on the list, they also asked me to provide my family's certified birth certificate together with their government or valid IDs So when you say family, it means your mother, your father, and your siblings So um, NSO birth certificate plus valid ID next one or next on the list for example if you are employed they will also ask for your employment certificate 
employment certificate this will um, state that you are employed currently or until the present next is your leave approval because when you are working you need to apply for a leave from work so you need to have that sheet that is like signed by your supervisor or from your manager that they um, guarantee you a leave from work next one is a letter from the employer when you say a letter from the employer um, in my case um, I asked my agent what should be in that letter um, she just told me that it should have the name of the company the number of the company and it should state that I am given these days to have like an off from work and also that I am employed from this date until the present so that is a letter from the employer so the last requirements that they ask me is the visa team applicants information sheet so that um, document or sheet or information sheet that will be given by your agent so what is in that um, visa team application sheet it consists of or you just need to provide information about yourself like your age your name your father's name your mother's name their age birthday their work your siblings name and if you've got nephew or niece then that's included their birthdays their names and their age so that is all the requirements that i had to give them or to provide when we applied for the tourist visa application for australia so don't worry if you did not follow or you can follow the requirements because i will be um, putting it in the description box together with the link of the australian visa team so this time let's proceed with the requirements that my aussie um, partner needed to provide for the application of my tourist visa for australia that time so they asked him to provide passport bio page passport stamps certified birth certificate his driver's license his employment history letter so because um, they want to trace like um, like what's your work history and what's your possible income with those work and how much could you possibly have earned or saved with your work then bank statement next one is car registration so you might be wondering why does or why does he need to give those like car registration or employment history because in that way they would know that my Aussie boyfriend or that acts also as my sponsor will be able to support my stay here in Australia while I'm here so next to car registration he also provided a proof of his dad's identity and ownership of the house since um, my accommodation would be in his dad's house because he's living with his dad that time next is a short um, relationship history or um, our story as a boyfriend and girlfriend that is to prove also that we are genuine in relationship and not just friends that he's helping me to come over and like stay illegally you know next one is invitation letter so his invitation letter to me that he is inviting me to come over to Australia with a specific reason and also that he is um, my sponsor and my guardian while I'm staying here in Australia so next one is itinerary so this will have um, like a time frame like when like when are you coming when are you leaving and what will you do um, from the time you arrive and from the time you leave like are you visiting this place and that place when will you visit and etc next is the photos of me and my boyfriend while in the Philippines or like our travel and yeah our photos so that will also prove that we are really 
in a genuine relationship. So last document or last requirements that he has to give is our chat logs. When you say chat logs, this is the conversation, our daily conversation uh, while he was in Australia and I am in the Philippines. That's basically just a proof of our relationship. So those are all the requirements that he had to give and I had to give. So you might wonder if the documents need to be regional and how did we apply while I'm in the Philippines. So in our case, I was in Cebu and he was in Australia. So what I had to do was to just photocopy my requirements or my documents. It's either photocopy or scan. And then I sent it to him via email or through email. And he did the same thing too. He scanned his documents and then sent all our requirements to the visa team or to our agent. So, but um, it's not really actually that you really need to have an agent because um, the truth about um, applying for a visa through an agent is that it costs more because they will be doing the work that you should be doing. So what you need to do is just to give the documents. That's it. No hard work, actually. So it's just more on paying too much money, I guess. But it's really helpful. But if you know the things to be done and the documents needed, and you're pretty knowledgeable about the process of the application, then you could apply alone. I mean, like, without an agent. But, um... But for us, uh, we were both busy that time because I was working and he's also working and we've got no idea on how to apply for it because it's his first time too, it's my first time. So we, need, uh, we needed help from an expert. And that expert and that agent of ours really helped me to be here in Australia. So um, the reason also why we chose to have an agent is that they have experts uh, to study your documents before launching it. It means less um, trouble or less possibility of being um, denied or not approved. And also they will try to ask you more documents if for example they think or they feel that your documents aren't enough or strong enough to be approved yet. Anyways, um, this time let's proceed on how much we spent and how long did we wait for the result of the tourist visa application. So we spent around 3,000 Australian dollars for the visa application or processing, including, including the agent or the visa team fee and the government fee. So these 3,000 Australian dollars is purely just the processing and the visa fee, government fee excluding the um, cost or the expenses we had um, getting our own documents like NSO, birth certificate, passport, and the like. The application was launched at around late February, early March 2018 and we received an approval email on May 2018. So we basically just waited for around two months for the result so in my case i was lucky to be granted with um, a multiple entry visa good for one year so that's um very amazing because actually when you apply you will not ask for specific visa i mean like specific length of visa so it's the i can say i think it's the embassy or who will approve it or grant it, they will be the one to um, give you a specific visa that you could have. After that, I flew to Australia in here and now I am just waiting for the result of my permanent visa application with the same agent. So. Um, if you're interested in applying or if you are planning to apply, I have all the requirements listed in the description box below. 
um, as well as the link of the Australian visa team that um, is helping us to get my visa they are really good so that's it for today and i hope i have given you enough and helpful information for your australian tourist visa application in the future and if you've got any question just feel free to comment down below also if you know someone that might need this info might as well share this video to them and don't forget to subscribe to be notified the next time I post a video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.